Hello everyone. In this video, we'll explore differentiating inverse hyperbolic functions. So we have three questions. We're going to prove the derivative of r cosh x, and then we're going to apply the chain rule and use the product rule to differentiate composite functions. Okay, so in question one, we've been asked to show that the derivative of r cosh x with respect to x is equal to one over the square root of x squared minus one. So the first thing we need to do is we need to say let y equal r cosh x. And then if we take the cosh of both sides, these two will cancel. So we have the cosh of y is equal to x. And now if we differentiate this implicitly, we get the shine of y dy by dx is equal to 1. So all we've done is we've differentiated both sides with respect to x. And we can make dy by dx for subject by dividing both sides by shine of y. Okay, so at this point, we need to be able to write shine of y in terms of x. And to do this, we can use a Pythagorean hyperbolic identity. So cos squared y minus shine squared y is equal to 1. We need to rearrange this equation to make shine y the subject. So we get shine squared y is equal to cos squared y minus 1. And now we need to take the square root of both sides. So shine y will equal plus or minus the square root of cos squared y minus 1. And if you notice at the start, we said cos y is equal to x. So I can replace this cos squared y with x. And this gives us shine y is equal to plus or minus the square root of x squared minus 1. And I can use this expression for shine y in our derivative. So dy by dx is equal to 1 over plus or minus the square root of x squared minus 1. But to understand why we don't have a negative, we need to think about the graph of r cosh of x. If you remember from my previous video on inverse hyperbolic functions, we found that cosh y is always an increasing function. And therefore, its gradient will never be negative. So this negative we can cancel. So here we have a gradient function for r cosh of x. Okay, so let's move on to question two. Okay, so here are the standard inverse hyperbolic derivatives that you're often given in the formula booklet. So for the rest of this video, we're going to use these to differentiate questions A and question B. Okay, so for example two, we're going to use the chain rule where we have the inner function and the outer function. So we need to say, let another variable, g, equal 2a squared. So to differentiate this, we need to work out d by dg of r cosh of g, and we need to multiply that by d by dx of 2x squared. So to work out the derivative of r cosh of g, we can replace this x with g. So we get 1 over the square root of g squared minus 1. And we'll multiply that by the derivative of 2x squared, which is 4x. And we can write this as a single fraction as 4x over the square root of g squared minus 1. But now we need to substitute g back into here. And if g is equal to 2x squared, then g squared will equal 4x to the 4. So now we have the derivative as 4x over the square root of 4x to the 4 minus 1. So this is the gradient function of this expression here. Okay? And in question b, we're going to use the product rule. So when u and v are both functions of x, 
we know the derivative will be u dv by dx plus v times du by dx. So applying this to our expression, we can say that u is equal to 2x. du by dx will therefore be equal to 2. v will equal our shine of x. So dv by dx will be the derivative of this, which is given here. So this is 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1. And now we can substitute these four expressions into our product rule. So the derivative with respect to x will be u, 2x, times dv, which is 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1, plus v, our shine of x, times du, which is 2. We can tidy this up by writing this as a fraction. So we have 2x over the square root of x squared plus 1, plus 2 times our shine of x. Okay? So if you found this tutorial helpful, Please like and subscribe for more GCSE and A-level math tutorials. Thank you for joining me. You can download the full lesson from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.